hello, welcome to my channel that is dedicated purely to finding that perfect wrist presence. The watch that just fits great, like a glove on the wrist. Is it possible for a watch that costs 10% of your dream watch? Is it possible that that watch can fulfill the same need, answer the same question, and be an end to that search? Hello, welcome to The Perfect Wrist, the channel that allows you to spectate on another watch collector's journey, go through all the highs and lows without you having to spend a penny. Perhaps save some money when you look at some of the watch reviews uh, that I've done, or spend some money when you realise that that watch you've been looking for is in fact the watch that you would like. The Baltic Aquasaf has been an itch that I've needed to scratch really since I started watch collecting and it was only a matter of time. So what is it about the Aquasaf that drew me to it and how does it perform as a watch in its own right in my experience with Baltic? The fact that it takes some design cues from my dream watch, the Amiga Seamaster 300 Heritage, does help. Those design cues being, in particular, the sandwich dial. So you'll notice that there are cutouts in the main dial at the 3, 6 and 9, making this a semi-sandwich dial, something that the Amiga does have. It also has, I would say, a very similar presence on wrist or feel with the case shape and the domed sapphire crystal. Oh, by the way, can you just, um, if you like these videos, can you just subscribe and like and share the videos? It takes a few seconds, costs nothing, but it does help the channel. For those of you that don't know, Baltic are a relatively new micro brand, French, launched in 2016 by Etienne Malik, who from a very young age had admired his father's watch collection, caught the bug, and with his own brand, he has gone from strength to strength, specializing in vintage inspired designs, generally with Miota movements slimmer myota movements which i would give a thumbs up to very accurate so what has been my experience having lived with the baltic aquasaf this is the original aquasaf one of the original colorways introduced so at the end of this video i will offer my conclusion as to whether I feel that this watch can be a valid substitute and fill the need of a watch, a dream watch costing 10 times as much. My first hand experience of Baltic so far has been of exceptional attention to detail, which I imagine is what the founder was trying to achieve when he launched the brand. Something that stood apart and screamed value at ex with exceptional quality. This thoughtfulness and attention to detail extends to every aspect of the watch, including the packaging. If you look at the outer box, there is one little segment there for the links. We then have a separate segment for the warranty card. Another slightly larger area that fits perfect for the instruction book. 
and the quality of the inner case is beautiful. It's all soft touch, soft touch with the cushion. And finally, a little envelope, tastefully done, with your branded Baltic strap change tool, your, with your branded spring bar tool, which you will need because the Baltic is an absolute strap monster. And Baltic know that because they've given you drilled lugs. I measure the watch at 39 mil case width, just slightly larger than that with the bezel because the bezel does stick out slightly. It's a 13 mil case, 20 mil lug width, 47 mil lug to lug, perfect dimensions in other words. And every aspect of this watch has been thought out. The beads of rice bracelet is lovely with a gorgeous signed clasp, brushed in the center, polished outer edges. We have a signed case back, screw down, a little Baltic diver on there, the scuba man and the attention to detail that i mentioned before this bracelet is easy to take off because you have the slightly protruding spring bar extensions so you can just grab those with your fingers and remove the bracelet signed crown it's a screw down crown One of the amazing things that uh, you realize about Baltic is that they are never trying to rip you off. So the price of the Baltic doesn't seem to have changed. The price of the Aquasaf doesn't seem to have changed in the last few years, unlike most other brands. They still offer this at 580 euros on the rubber tropic strap, 660 if you go for the beads of rice, like I did. And as an all-round retro vintage inspired dive watch with perfect proportions, the Baltic Aquasaf is very hard to beat. very few cons with this watch if this is the style you're looking for there's very little to complain about one thing that i have a little bit of a, a gripe with which doesn't just apply to the baltic it applies with almost every other vintage diver is the relatively flat case shape i like a watch that hugs the wrist even even though this is quite small in proportion it's still fairly flat so the lugs do protrude a little bit from the wrist. They don't actually hug the wrist. That's a first world problem. I'm not a great fan of Fotina, the loom. But Baltic do offer other colours, black with white loom. The other main con is nothing to do with Baltic themselves. But don't be fooled by the website. Uh, the prices you see as a UK buyer... You will pay an extra 20% on that. When I bought this watch for 660 euros, which was around 600 pounds, 
I ended up paying nearly 720 because of the 20% import tax. So if you can, possibly find one used. It's also extremely reflective. It sounds bizarre, but maybe an acrylic crystal may have been better. So in conclusion, has this watch, this Baltic, got rid of any need for me now to continue with my quest for an Amiga Seamaster dive watch, the Heritage 300? Has it done that? Have the features, the case design, the quality, simply allowed me to forget about that target? Well, no, the Baltic is a great watch. I don't think I can leave this mortal coil without having at least once experienced Amiga's coaxial 8 series movements. So one way or another, that Amiga quest is still continuing, whether it's a Heritage 300 Diver or whether it's possibly one of the dress watches, one of the DeVilles, we'll see. It's very unlikely to be an Aquaterra because I think there's a lot of other watches that do the same thing. But for now, my quest continues. But what I would say about the Baltic Aquasaf is in its own right, it offers everything you would need and more in a traditional vintage effect, in a vintage inspired dive watch. Until next time, don't forget that I do have playlists on my channel now. I've collated a few playlists, videos grouped together. There's a Seiko binge list. There's a watch collecting as a hobby uh, playlist. So if you've got, a, you know, if you've got some time, half an hour, you can just lose yourself in the channel uh, and binge to your heart's content.